Hey guys, so happy weekend. Um, allow me to do some stocks for you. Um, we've been doing a variety of uh, content, no, not just um, stocks, but we've been doing a lot of cryptocurrency. But for this edition, I just want to talk about Dito. I want to talk about ASEN. I want to talk about MM. I want to talk about SM Prime, MBT, Globe, and Converge. And please do note this, that uh, last Friday, the markets dropped slightly. It was down 0.53%. To close at 6851 so allow me to at least show you also the chart of the philippine stock exchange index so you have a context on where it is and where it could probably go so what's very very clear right now is we have a resistance right here at the 697 mark um very very clear allow me to just change the color of this not to make it white so it's easily seen so we have a resistance here so please do note that the resistance right now is at the 6979 level and that we are maybe four days upon hitting it uh, here, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that it started to retrace after that. So possible area of support, which was quite evident also intraday was this, the 6838 mark. I'll zoom in so you see it better here. So as you can see right here, um, it, it hit this level, but it started to spike up. Showing us that the 6838 level is a level of at least support right now. So a couple of things to watch out for at least for the next few days is if the 6838 level does not hold possible retracement for the Philippine Stock Exchange Index would be at the 6679 level. And wait, let's see how this would progress. No, if there would be also be a legitimate change in direction for uh, the index. And I guess a possible narrative also is it, it could consolidate it could uh, move sideways for the short term but uh it's all contingent on the 6838 mark meaning if the 6838 mark uh holds its ground then possibly this could be its narrative if it does not hold its ground then this could uh, a possible situation for it is it could consolidate from this particular point of view in this particular range so um resistance right now is 6979 support right now is 6838 then you have another support level the 6679 level and the 6679 level you could reinforce it right here um that's where we draw our horizontal lines but above and beyond that um it's relatively close to the 120 day moving average for the market so there i hope you're learning and i hope that this is something that's helping you and please do note that no matter how much we talk about the stocks here um never ever buy sell hold or avoid whatever we talk about here just because it's discussed it's your money it's your responsibility you have to take the time to be able to learn the rudiments of what you're actually investing in and what you're actually deploying capital in this is not financial advice this is just me giving information for you to be able to decide properly on how you're supposed to invest and how you're supposed to trade the markets with confidence and i salute all of you, you know for doing this during the weekend that um it's nice for those who love to learn that at least you're building the necessary skills also on your free time, especially for those who are employed. So for Dito, um, nothing much has changed. Um, it's still, in my opinion, moving sideways. And if you look at the narrative, uh, the sideways movement um, came from the drop that happened um, somewhere around March this year. Uh, for those who were following my videos last year, I, I mentioned that tignan nyo, uh, what will happen when they start operating. So right now, the, the I guess the... The narrative of what's going to happen when they open, I think right now everyone's waiting and seeing also how their earnings will be over the next few months um, when they disclose also their second quarter performance, which is coming out this August. But that being said, um, the current support, the current range right now for it consolidating is 7.66 as your uh, long-term support. Um, it hit that once or twice somewhere around mid-May. And then your main resistance right now is at 11.45 as to where the 100-day moving average is also. Uh, for the short term, if you'd like to draw a very, very support, short so support and resistance, you have a short-term support here at 9.85 and a short-term resistance at the 10.14 level. For those who want to trade this range, bounce from 9.25. This could be a quick trade to 10.14. That's around, if you look at it right here, uh, this is 9.8%. And then you have MACD still confirming uh, the very very thin consolidation that's here um it's also being confirmed by both the 50 and the 20 day moving average confirming that teka it's really consolidating next let's look at ac energy which 
uh, I think the past few days you know, when I did videos about this, it was uh, breaking out from its sideways range. And if you remember the video that I posted, I mentioned that tignan nyo, uh, if it holds the 7.94 level because if it holds this range, then even if there's a red candle like what we have here, you don't actually need to uh, sell. You don't actually need to panic because the breakout is still pretty much in effect. So um, ASEN, AC Energy, uh, the breakout that happened a couple of days ago right here is still intact. It pushed up. Then you have a large red candle here. Uh, even though there was a large red candle, it did not pierce and it did not go below the 7.94 uh, support level. And right after that, true enough, um, we saw a surge of buying, which caused it to move up. So MACD trend lines, 20, 50, 100, and 200 day moving averages are still bullish right now. But you also have you also you also have a 7.94 resistance level um cur previous resistance turning itself as a support so in my opinion as long as the 7.94 uh, level holds then the possible narrative that it could progress up will still be pretty much in effect now we talked about um we talked about Nito, which is sideways we talked about asen which has broken out from the sideways progression now for merrymart uh, this is its current narrative you have a resistance right here, 5.6. You have a support line right here, 3.89. Then if you draw another area here, you have another resistance at the 4.86 mark. So that being said, as you can see, no, hmm, uh, we're seeing Mary Mart having a hard time here. It hasn't gone above the 5.61 mark since April 2021. Then it broke down below the 4.86 mark, uh, which it did early May. And right after that, it has started to consolidate in this smaller range. So please do write this down. Um, resistance is at 4.86. Support is at 3.89. And then you have a smaller resistance here by, by the 20-day moving average. If that does not hold, then the current progression is we could possibly see it drop to the 3.89 level. And just wanted to note this, there's another cross down from the MACD. So currently speaking, um, it's sideways for the short term. It's below the 20-day moving average. And the 50, 100, and 200-day moving averages are also bearish. And while that's all happening, uh, I just want to mention this, that um, the entire progression of Mary March since Feb this year, uh, MACD has been showing us still a lackluster bullish uh, no no reversal signs or or movement from bearish to bullish as of today for mm so there uh, for those who want to learn more about this i'm doing a seminar on this on july uh mid july so it's a month from now so links are in the description below uh what we're going to talk about are candlesticks support and resistance trend lines moving averages macd adx bollinger bands parabolic sar um then we're going to talk about Fibonacci retracement, some chart patterns as well, ADX, um, check-in money flow oscillator, and so much more. So it's going to be during the weekend, and it's going to be online via Zoom. So if you are from other countries, you're on from other cities outside Manila, you still get to join us and you get to be part of this. I'll put the link in the description below. But for those who want to join us naman for our basic stock market course, we have a um, basic course and it's partnered with Sean C. It's the basics of business and it's the basics of the stock market. It's called Make Money, Grow Money. Um, it's on demand. It's not live. Um, you can check it out in the description below if you want to join us and be part of that particular course as well. Anyways, let's look at SM Prime right now. So for SM Prime, this is how it actually looks. So uh, what's so clear for SM Prime right now is you have a resistance of 38.12. Um, what's so clear also right now is this is how you could build maybe your support and resistance. 38 resistance, 32.42 um, support. Uh, what's what's clear though right now is it's below the 20-day moving average. What's clear though also right now is that uh, for the past two weeks or so, it hasn't broken out of the 38.4 level. And if it does not bounce from the 50-day moving average, then narrative downward could possibly happen correction downward could also possibly happen um the selling is also warranted but uh, brought about by the cross down from uh the moving average convergence and divergence but if it solid if this area solidifies as a level of support possible moves you could see it uh, move right here bounce from the 35.8 level resistance will be at the 38.2 mark so um the sideways progression it has in it has been in that level since uh the start of at least 2021. next is let's look at mbt um 
this is how Metro Bank looks like. As you can see right here, uh, it's still moving sideways. Nothing much has changed. And I placed this progression in a couple of videos before that uh, the closer it is to the resistance, the more hesitation you would also see in terms of uh, where it could possibly go. Uh, that being said, no, we saw a large dip last Friday for Metro Bank. Boom. Uh, but intraday, we saw it continually push up. So it went to as low as 47.55. Uh, only to see it close at 48.9. So please remember the resistance is at 51.65 and that this is your possible narrative if this 20-day moving average um, holds itself through. Uh, that being said, check this out. If this progresses the cross down here, as we may see a change in direction, but nothing much has changed for Metro Bank since uh, November last year. It's consolidating uh, in this range. 43.52 is the main support, 51.65 is the main resistance. This could be an area for you also to take profit should it fail to break out from the 51.65 mark. By the way, I forgot to mention this. Now, this is also mentioned in uh, my book, Breaking the Resistance. It's available in national books or Shopee and Lazada. Anyways, um, let's look at Globe Telecom. So this is how Globe Telecom looks like. Um, another, another tranche of selling has happened. Uh, it's been moving in this range since uh, March this year. No, parang wala, wala siya masyadong pinagpuntahan over the past three months, over the past quarter. Support is 1795. Resistance is 1895. So it's been it's been three days since it hit the resistance, four days since it's hit the resistance and a barrage of selling has also happened. So um, selling continues. Possible area for it to at least uh, retrace as it goes back to the 1795 level. Uh, watch out for this. It has hit this level a couple of times um last month and after hitting that it started to bounce so for those who want to be efficient in in at least picking up globe somewhere to close to the 1795 1800 level is a good area and for those who want to trade it um 1795 is your area of support then you have a resistance at the 1895 level but um it only gives you around a 5.7 percent tradable range lastly metro bank uh, let's look at metro bank here this is how metro bank look out oh, huh? Uh, I'll sorry, Converge. This is how Converge. This is how Converge looks like. Tapos pala Metro Bank. So Converge, it had a level. It had some selling last Friday. However, um, similar to ASEN, uh, I just want you to note that bantayan yung lang as long as this level of support in the twenty point thirty seven level will hold, then whatever upward movement that we're seeing, in my opinion, will pretty much still be relevant. So um, it's normal for it to have some selling. It's normal to see some. Some stocks uh, for people take profits of some stocks that they are that they know so well, or at least um, they have profited from already, and that's what we're actually seeing right now, uh, at the very least for uh, Converge. But should selling happen and the twenty point thirty seven support level will hold, then I really believe the upward movement, the upward push for Converge will still be pretty much intact, as it will just build a new base. And push upward so very please do write this down very important level to watch out for is 20.37 if that holds a new basis forming converge could possibly still move up macd for converge is bullish 20 50 100 day moving averages as well right now are not showing us any signs of reversal yet so there i hope that this is something that was insightful for you for a saturday uh, we talked about dito asen mm sm prime metro bank globe and converge for those who have some questions about uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, uh, VET, ADA, and other cryptocurrencies, I posted a video about that yesterday. You may check it uh, just prior to this. And yun, um, I, I, I miss doing videos like this, uh, the charting sessions, but I at least I'm having more time right now to actually do it as well. So there, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below. If you're new to this, my name is Marvin Germo. I'm a stock market trader and investor. And I create daily videos on how you can trade the markets with confidence. So that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys. And God bless you all.